Hey guys, I'm back with another video and my boyfriend goes, why don't you do a video about Leo? And I thought, oh my gosh, why haven't I not done that yet? This is my boy, Leo. He is a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. He's a purebred Cavalier, even though he weighs over 30 pounds, he's just very big. My previous Cavalier was also very big. Um, he's what they call Blenheim. They have four colors. Uh, he's brown and white. That's the Blenheim Cavalier. He's five and a half. He'll be six on G uh, July 1st. He's got his little Easter bandana. He went to the groomers last week. Uh, he is a true Cavalier in that he's lazy. He's a lap dog. He loves to cuddle. He's needy. He needs to be around people all the time. Um, he's sweet, um, curious, and he's just, a, he's just a sweetheart. He's a big ball of love. He's definitely a lover, not a fighter. Um, he loves dogs, but if other dogs have a lot of energy, he's just like, nah. So <laughs> he's a lap dog. Um, he's huge for a Cavalier. Like I said, I think he's like 30 to 32 pounds. He's a little bit overweight, but not much. Um, even if he lost a pound or two, he he'd still be normal. Like, uh, I think the average is 15 to 18 pounds, although I do believe that standard is old. And I feel like Cavaliers are getting bigger as time goes on. I had a Ruby Cavalier before and he was 30 pounds. Um, so, you know, I knew Leo was going to be big when I got him, but I just love him so much. I love his little spot here. Um, let's see. I got him when I lived in New York City. You know, time has passed now and I've learned about puppy mills and all that shit and it really pisses me off. So I hate that I, you know, with my first dog, I went to a, a breeder and then with Leo, I was in mourning of the death of my first dog and I was walking down Lexington Avenue and lo and behold, there was Leo and his brother in the window and I was in, you know, my dog had just passed less than two months prior and I went in and I was crying and I went in and said, can I hold him? And the guy goes, this one's going to be big. And I said, oh, my last one was big. And so I held him and he hugged on to me. He just like snuggled into me and held on. And I was like, how, how can I put this dog back? I can't buy him from a pet store. It's the worst thing ever. Like there's all these dogs in shelters that need homes, but I, which I will adopt. We are planning on um, adopting one from a shelter, um, a mixed breed. I don't care. Just any, just, I want a shelter pet. Um, however, you know, I, I was in mourning of my previous Cavalier and I really, really, really missed having a Cavalier and I wanted a male Blenheim this time because my previous one was a Ruby. And so when I was walking down Lexington Avenue and lo and behold, I see this male Blenheim Cavalier in the window. I felt like it was fate. And I do have to say, I got his papers and I hope he didn't come from a puppy mill, but his grandfather was a champion. So I do have his like pedigree. Um, I don't know if puppy mills provide that. Also, his health is amazing. He's in much better health than my previous Cavalier, who I got from a certified breeder that had champion bloodlines. So you really, unfortunately, with this breed, they are prone to mitro mitral valve prolapse, where they have a leaky valve, heart valve, and eventually they go into congestive heart failure. That That's just, they're 20 times more likely than any other breed to do it. Um, we're not sure why, because you can have heart certified dogs that still have um, puppies that d eventually develop it. So I, I'm, I'm lucky to say that, lucky and happy to say that, even though I did get him in a pet store, um, he's still heart cleared at five and a half, which is considered really, really, really good. I'm pretty sure my last one, Jesse, already had a grade three by age five, grade three murmur. Um, he ended up dying at nine and a half. And for a year and a half, he was on meds. We were getting him EKGs. We did everything we could. There was nothing I could do. Um, so hopefully Leo, since, you know, it's good news that his heart is cleared now. So hopefully he'll have a longer lifespan than nine and a half because nine and a half is way too young. Um, I want this guy to be around as long as possible. I do have actually right here, this was my previous one, Jesse James. He was a Ruby. He was all red and the love of my life. So, you know, and so then I got Leo. And he's just the best dog. He's just funny and quirky and he's got so much personality and he's so well behaved. He never ever barks unless my boyfriend picks me up, which we, we still don't know why. 
He whines though a lot and he paws at me constantly, constantly wants treats. Um, he's very entitled. This dog really walks through life as if every human loves him. He just doesn't know what it, what it's like out there in real life, thank God. But um, yeah, he loves people. He thinks all people love him and are here to serve him. And he does love other dogs unless they're too, you know, uppity. His favorite toys are these loofah dogs and they come in all different shapes and sizes and colors. We call them Bobos. So <laughs> I don't know what he's doing right there. I can't move it now. So uh, we call these to toys Bobos. He's got probably 10 of them, different colors, different sizes. This one he actually picked out himself during Halloween. I was super excited because I love skulls. Um, he actually took this out of PetSmart and started walking out of the store with it. And then I had to yell at him to come back in so that we could pay for it. And he took it right up to the cash register himself. Um, he's so friendly, loves people, loves, you know, he's just a great dog. And uh, I just thought that, you know, I've had my channel for a long time and he's been in my videos for years. And I thought maybe it's time everyone can meet him. So everyone say hello to Leo. Thanks for watching.